It's a trap, you walked right out of the hate All over a new king that's face is just replaced It's all the same, you still be ruled by force And no matter who it is, you'll still carry on the torch Just a lie, cheat, steal, half of what you make Taxation is theft, it's time to vacate the state Newsflash, all your cash is an IOU From killers who really do steal from you Inflation is a weapon used by every nation Who says that the same in the world through lies Have they disguised and pass off as bravery? Well, I got news, debt is slavery It don't matter who's matter, a new master don't matter When they both want the same, the state don't play no games They got you trying to survive and put you on sides And ready to kill each other, that's conquering divide It's all for show, all for hyper control That's it, we're gonna live forever, boy, cause legends never die And we're back with another episode of Up. We're here with you on this uh, Tuesday, this warm Tuesday Luckily, the studio has not uh, caught up with the ambient temperature outside yet. Because it's Tuesday show instead of Tuesday night. Yeah. Hasn't spent all day charging up that solar radiation ball in the sky. I know, right? Or God's flashlight. Exactly. Whatever. It's like a it's like a reverse igloo cooler in here, you know? Yeah. I get it. But now we're back, and we're here to talk to you today. We got, we got a couple quite, things to talk about. Quite the topic. We got quite the topics. But before we get started, I'd say we'd probably want to... Uh, Go over what's been going on in the news here lately. You know, uh, Hurricane Dorian came through, fucked some shit up. Yeah. You know, I think it's still active going up to Canada right now. It's cute that it went straight to the place I like to vacation on the East Coast, the Outer Banks, and made landfall there. Hopefully it's still around. Just fucked it up, you know. Virtually ocean on two sides of road at some point, so. Yeah. So I hope everybody that was in that path that listens to the show is okay. Actually, I th- hope everybody, even if you don't listen to the show, is okay. Yeah, except for anybody that was at Epstein Island when it was a Category 5. Fuck those dudes. Yes, yeah. I agree with that. You know, Let's not forget about Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did you hear uh, the lead detective yeah. uh, died of oh. a illness, of a strange illness at age 50? Yeah, the Highway Ranger sent me that news article this morning. Yeah, isn't lead that nice? detective investigating Jeffrey Epstein dies of mysterious disease at the age of fifty. Yeah, coincidences abound. Uh, Probably rice and poisoning. Rice and death relation. <laughs> yeah, you fucking. So we're gonna teach you to investigate. Things. You know, just had to make sure you guys all remembered that you know Jeffrey Epstein was a pedophile and a sex trafficker. Yeah, two uh, rich and powerful elites, Hollywood types, politicians, and. The, the pantheon of individuals that he invited onto the Lolita Express and his uh, island is, is just uh, mind-boggling. Yeah. I can't believe it. So You see that picture I posted on our Instagram story a couple of days ago with uh, mm-hmm. Barack Obama like like waving to and patting little kids on the head and it said, and then on top of that picture was Trump in front of all those like McDonald's sandwiches <laughs> and it said Trump in front of hamburgers. Obama in front of hot dogs. <laughs> a nod to the, the Pizzagate lingo. Yeah. So, just, yeah, we always like to remind you all that that happened and that they're still continuing to try to bury that yeah, into don't, the, don't let into them do the it. foreground. Continue to share. Uh, Bolton got fired today. Saw that. What do you think that's about? I don't know. I mean, I don't like the guy because he's definitely like... He's a warmonger. Are you related to Michael Bolton? <laughs> I mean, I was kind of glad to watch him go, for real. Yeah. But then again, I, I would like to see every politician go. Every one of them. Like, as far as I'm concerned, John Bolton is just a good start. Yeah. So. Yeah, we got quite the crowd coming on in here. Well, that's good. I'd like to hear that. The Condor's already been summoned. <laughs> What's up? I haven't, he gave us a, a message the other day. I don't know if you saw it. It was a voice recording, and he was talking about his personal chomo radar. Oh, yeah. And how he can spot him in the crowd. Oh, well, that's good. I agreed. It's good. To, uh, it's like a superpower. Yeah. You know, I wish I had that superpower. <laughs> we do have that. How many times have you been in a Kroger parking lot and been like, you, you bring your son a little bit closer to you because there's a pedophile yeah. walking around? Well, it's a, I think it's a scent, having the perceived sense that someone's a predator. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whether they're a pedophile, a rapist, or just a killer. Generally all bad. Individual, yeah, that's why I like a lot of the the most prolific <laughs> serial killers had really good uh, like you know camouflage to try to blend in with the rest of the crowd. Yeah, or signs in their locker that said "Don't do it." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> talking about you, BTK. Mm-hmm. But uh, other than that, I mean, has there anything else going yeah. on in the news yeah, cycle? A little bit of housekeeping. Oh, okay, we'll do that then. First and foremost, I'd like to thank the newest members of Bones of Tubbs Nation, Kyle and Lucy Wamsley. Wamsley, I hope I didn't fuck your name up. Wamsley. 
We got uh, <laughs> Kyle coming in. I believe it was at the five dollar level. Oh shit! His wife rocking the one dollar level. Mm. And uh, we've got those appropriate prizes are going to be sent out. You know. I just talked to the proprietor of Infidel Custom yesterday. He said this after his days off this week, he was going to have a bunch of crispy new shirts to give to us. That's good. I'm excited. We've uh, we've had one going out that's been a small to uh, one of our female friends down south, and it's been like two months, so it's, I'm gl- <laughs> glad to know we're getting those shirts in. Fuck yeah. Uh, let's see. I wrote him a little thank you that I figured you might put your name on as well. Yeah. So I'll read it real quick. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is to Kyle and Lucy Wamsley, the newest members of the Bones of Tough Nation. We want to thank you for your vote of confidence. And I really enjoyed our conversation this week. I hope we have more conversations in the future. Uh, with your help, we will be able to grow this podcast and reach our childhood dreams of being well known enough to be shit on by the by the name and media. So they'll, you know, call us out. Yeah. On TV, radio, other podcasts. Hopefully Joe Rogan Experience talks shit. That'd be cool. I want to be so no- notorious that Google has to shadow ban us. <laughs> Oh, I think we might already be there. On the Google search? Because, I mean, if you type Bones of Tuz, we're still the top search term for that. I know, but if you go through the images, I've been watching those for a while, and they're up and down mm. as far as, like, especially the hashtag Bones and Tubs. Like, we still get that dude from the show Bones in a bathtub. What's up with that? I don't even know. Bones inside a tub. <laughs> uh, let's see if there's anything else here. No, I, I won't stop until we're a porn parody somewhere. Oh, it's going to happen. Bones in tubs. <laughs> yeah, deep fake. And then um, last but not least, aside from our thank you to our newest members, we have the hope that uh, not only will we be famous enough to be shit on in the media, but we will also be suicided one day. Yeah. And that's something everyone can enjoy. Yeah. We love you both. And now, um, that's all I've got, aside from the topic. All right, cool. So, what do we... Well, okay, let me say something before we get started, cause <coughs> We were doing uh, research for the show. I discovered something earlier. Um, I'm trying to get away from Google mm-hmm. because, duck, like, duck, go dog. Yeah, start page. Go duck go, or is it? It's a uh, duck duck go duck, dot duck, com. Go. Okay, and startpage dot com are two yes. untainted search engines. And they're not a sponsor, but I will uh, talk about them because here's the thing: when I started doing research on this, I got on the old fashioned, you know, Google. The Googles. I typed in. Uh, well, part of what we're talking about today was AI. I typed in AI weapons, right? <clears throat> yeah. And came up, like, not what I was looking for. And I did the same thing with 5G. I put literally 5G bad. <laughs> okay? I put 5G bad. You think that, like... All the stories are like, 5G, it sure is bad that it's not here already. First of all, the first five links were to, like, fucking major communications companies, Verizon oh, and man. whatnot, about how 5G... Safe. Yeah. I'm going to get to that and, here and, later. And promoting how uh, Apple uh, is coming out with their 5G next year and all that shit. Like, nothing about, like... I, I And then I went to DuckDuckGo and typed it in. <laughs> 5G bad. Yeah. And every link I found was exactly what I was looking for in the first place. <laughs> That's good. You can't trust you can't you can't trust Google. Nah, man, fuck Google. Let's catch up on these hellos, and then we'll get into the topic if that's all right with you. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Baked and awake. What's up, Baked and Awake podcast? The Condor again. He said, "Take your ass down the road, mustache." No, I was a detective. It's a developed sense talking about his developmental uh, okay. thing for child molester detector. Uh, Baked and awake. Something more to come from the Bolton business, I'm sure. Did you see that the detective that led the Epstein investigation is dead at 50? Two heart attacks to the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Baked in a week, he says he uses the duck. That's good. Hopefully mm-hmm. you're getting your, your following on board as well. And Battle Bun in there with the hand wave. Double hand wave. Hi. And we're good. Okay. So I'd say let's talk about 5G first. You want me to go through the spiel and then we'll pick you go, up? Go through the spiel. And just as a reminder, we have talked about 5G before. Yes. We did an episode about it before, but I feel like, um, one, it was suggested to talk about it again. Right. Because nothing has changed. It's still in, on its way. And it's worse it's, than we thought. And it, Yeah, and it's still being implemented. <laughs> so you want a good groundwork, check out our old episode on 5G. This is more of an addendum and more of a kind of update on the shit fuck situation that we're in. Yes. I think I'm going to title it 5G, uh, let's see, maybe like 5G AI in the Internet of Things. Yeah. Or uh, some sort of electronic control grid, because that's what it is. Yeah. You ready for this? Yes, let's do it. 
All right, deep breath. The trillion dollar rollout of the 5G system is definitely a rollout from our friendly local government and is also definitely a weapon system disguised as a system of modern convenience. There are four kinds of electromagnetic fields, and I didn't know this. I don't know if you did. Mm. I'm kind of retarded. Okay, uh, we're not scientists. We aren't scientists. And I should say a lot of this research was taken from an anonymous video, and I don't trust them, so I won't plug it. But I did take it from this video because it's all verifiable. Yes. That's like a little forewarner there. Okay. Uh, the first type that is uh, the dangerous electromagnetic fields, one, radiation, fe- uh, radio frequency radiation. And that comes from radio, television broadcasting, cellular telephones, radio communications for police and fire departments, amateur radio, microwave, uh, point-to-point links. Satellite communications are just a few of the many telecommunications applications. Microwave ovens are a good example of non-communication use of RF energy. Uh, Second, magnetic fields. The magnetic field results from the flow of current through wires or electrical devices and increases in strength as the current increases. The strength of a magnetic field decreases rapidly uh, with increasing distance from its source. Magnetic fields are measured in microteslas, or neat little upside down lowercase h capital T. Oh, I've seen that before. (laughs) Yeah, or millionths of a Tesla. Number three, dirty electricity. Common sources of dirty electricity include computers, Wi-Fi routers, microwaves, dimmer light switches, compact fluorescent light bulbs, Televisions, washers, dryers, hair dryers, cell phones, and printers. So literally everything. Yeah. Well, cell phones have hit two of these already. Yeah. Two of the four, and think, it's in your pocket, frying your testicles, or maybe your baby hole. Why do I don't think whatever I you're think, rocking down there? When I think dirty electricity, I think of like getting electricity from like a dirty <laughs> source, like a bunch of fucking migrant children running in hamster wheels, like generating the electricity for us. Yeah. I don't. Why, I don't know why my mind goes to that, but uh, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at but it. But for all. some reason, that's what I see when I think of dirty electricity. I like to think of uh, electricity. Remember that? Um, uh, it was like a PSA drawing, and it was Sparky, the electric, telling the kids to like put the car keys in the outlet. <laughs> yeah, and he's like that, but he's on a stripper pole. He's, yeah, he's dirty. He's dirty. <laughs> he's got dirty mind. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Number four, electric fields. Electric and magnetic fields are invisible areas of energy, also called radiation, that are produced by electricity, which move, which is the movement of electrons or current through a wire. An electrical field is produced by voltage, which is the pressure used to push the electrons through the wire, much like water being pushed through a pipe or, you know, burnt herbal material forced inward through a pipe. I don't know. Okay. So, Similar. So... Let me wrap wrap my non scientific donkey brain around this real quick. Okay. 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 So anytime you plug something in, <laughs> it creates a level of interference. Yes, I think that's because, uh, apparent from our old shows. <laughs> yeah, you're right because I remember like whenever we tried to plug my laptop in while we were doing the show, we would get that hum humming noise in the background, and that was interference from us plugging something in, and that was actually the sound. What of What is like, that goddamn buzzing noise? God damn it! It was more or less like uh, my computer taking a big bong rip. Yeah. More it's, or less. It's just the electrical devices that are semi-sentient getting high off dirty electricity. Exactly. It's basically like them having a ethereal form of meth, I'm sure. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? I like that basic understanding. So, basically, we're just getting in, we're getting hit from all angles. Yes. More um, or less. And this doesn't even... We haven't even talked about 5G yet. I'm just giving That's, a yeah. decent little ground. This is just This is all the things that we've had to deal with before 5G. The longer already. I got into these notes last night, the more Rain Man I became. Eventually, my eyes rolled back in my head, and I was just typing. <laughs> so, <laughs> all humans are affected by EMF radiation, uh, electromagnetic frequency. Uh-huh. We have to take a look into our individual exposure uh, to this radiation. One may think, just as I did, that the only sources of this exposure comes from close contact to your cell phone. And while this is partially true it's drastically worse than just that uh consider your proximity to all other cell phones around you i want to say that i watched a video with somebody had an emf meter and their cell phone was showing crazy amounts of radiation from 12 feet away so keep that in mind uh how many wi-fi networks are you walking through at any given time what is the lighting situation all fluorescent tubes imagine if you will people that work in a place that have uh radios on them yeah so you're in fluorescent lighting Surrounded by electromagnetic frequency from the radio tower and all the individual radios. And let's just say not everyone has a cell phone, but a lot of the, uh, you know, there's there's good cell phones and bad cell phones. Yeah. And they're all around you. Um, 
God forbid you do a fence check somewhere where they have point to point microwave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right <laughs> a radio wave slamming through you that one way <laughs> you know i had to shout that out the long, i had to shout out the long dong tong yeah how close are the power lines to you at any given time how many smart meters are you near or do you come in contact with cell phone towers bluetooth devices which you know not to to dance in the waters of uh the internet of things but we're already in stage three of four stages for the uh, transhumanist agenda where eventually we have shit put in our bodies we're already wearing bluetooth yeah so uh both bluetooth devices and cell phones use microwave radiation to transmit and receive data cell phones emit radiation that can be picked up by a tower from 10 miles away so can you keep that Within very close proximity to your genitals. I just want you to know that. Yeah, I'm sure it has nothing to do with the fertility issues going on in this country or yeah. civilized countries. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know if we're affected by all the cell phones in a 10-mile radius, but that shit's gangster as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, the p- fucked up part is, in reality, you can't even, like, get away from that in, like, the United States or anything. It's everywhere. Right. Like, you'd have to live out in fucking... The middle of nowhere in Alaska, but the problem with that is, is you're in proximity to an even bigger array, which is harp. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? No like shit. you can't even escape the shit, no matter where you go. Where's Instagram on this fine machine? Uh, pull up the apps. Go over. It's right there. Ah, right in front of my face. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna skip out of these notes real quick because I forgot to write something down. Um, this all kind of spawned when I was talking to uh, 909 bro. Mm-hmm. You guys will know him from our post of. Uh, that dastardly, dangerous-looking individual looking all manly behind a uh, Mr. Steel Your Girl van. Oh, yeah. With a Bones yeah. and Tubbs t-shirt holding those firearms. We had a conversation earlier in the week that set off my autism <laughs> and uh, is responsible, I would say, for this show. But he talked about something in here that shows that eventually, if not already, there will be nowhere you can go to escape this shit. Well, eventually it'll be everywhere. Elon Musk <laughs> is the is the reason for this job. You know... Elon Musk, billionaire, philanthropist. <sighs> Old school villain, apparently. Bond villain. Yeah, <laughs> fucking Bond villain. Probably uh, AI. He, in- he's, he's like a real life Blowfield. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, well, I don't know. Do we want to give him that kind of like top tier, like level of villain? Like, I feel like there's got to be somebody more like, no, it's definitely George Soros. I would say he's more like Blowfield or throw a Rothschild in there. You know what I mean? Okay, so it's already in place. Uh, he sent me a bunch of links, and I checked out some of them. I'm going to share some to the Facebook page because for some reason you can't share links on fucking Instagram, but that's none of my business. Yeah. Uh, Elon Musk helped launch 66, you know, plus or minus low Earth orbit satellites called Iridium Next into space in the last few years. This array was completed a few months ago, and that system of satellites cover the whole world now, making no place on this planet unreachable, not from the highest peaks or most remote areas off limits now for instant communication. This was all done with the public watching in awe when we used to see the spacecraft launching in California sunsets, making amazing alien-like light formations run across the sky. And we were all watched in awe and carried on our day, never asking what it was and why. Musk is a weird cat, probably transhuman himself already. Uh, which brings me to that fucking meme of him doing the zip line, like, so the humans enjoy this. They enjoy this. <laughs> yes, Elon, then I shall enjoy it as well. Back to the notes. I promise everybody I'll shut the fuck up here in a little bit, and then it'll be mostly tubs. Yeah. It's a nice mixture. Yeah, there you go. And then back here, we see cell phones 10 miles away. Bluetooth technology emits enough radiation for a connection of 10 to 30 feet. So anybody in your vicinity with a Bluetooth device in that vicinity is charging up your nutsack. Nice. Or your baby box. Yeah. Um, it's a literal electronic shit sandwich. Well, you know, here's the thing, though. I mean, it goes right in line with their agenda, because... We don't, I mean, according to Bernie Sanders himself, he believes firmly and fully that population control is definitively aspect of climate, of, of combating climate change. Yeah. Like, he literally said that the other day. Oh, fuck. Yeah. And then I saw, man, like, the weird shit that they're fucking trying to normalize. Like, I get, like, I've seen, we've seen the tra- the attempt, that's not to side rail real quick, but. We're going to, though. It cause... made me think of this. You know, the normalization of pedophilia and whatnot. <laughs> Like, that's one thing. Yeah. But then, like, you know, I kind of wasn't on board with the normalization of, of, of cannibalism until two days ago when I saw a fucking article in a, I want to say it was a Time article. Probably. About 
how this one scientist believes we should get rid of the stigma of eating human flesh, and that would combat climate change. Man, that's a, a little bit worse than that Japanese scientist making steaks out of shit. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, what are we like, doing? What are there's we doing? A re- listen, there is a reason that cannibal cannibalism is universal a universal taboo. Yeah. Because it's not right or good or you, healthy to eat, eat other each, people. You don't eat your own kind. Yeah. You get the shakes. Nature, you know... Made sure to keep that that way. Right. Uh, quick shout outs again so we keep up on this. Uh, you'll you'll appreciate this because it made me giggle. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Condor said 5G is actually measured in Sharpiro's. <laughs> 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 and then uh, Aim, AIMZ07, you missed the part of the show where I said this, but we, we're getting your shirt and it'll be sent out Thursday. So sorry for the 60 plus day wait, but here yeah. we are. And The Condor wants to know how your, your keto is going. Good. Good. Going, yeah, going well. Had my first cheat day on Friday. Felt like death, probably. I felt like shit. Yeah, like for real. And we both did. And I was like, I think uh, this is bullshit. I think I'm I'm good on that shit again. I like I'm not gonna do it anymore. That's what made me so motivated when I did it. Was like your cheat day was the satiation. You're just writing down everything you want to fuck up all week, mm-hmm. and then bash it in one day, and then the next day you're like, I'll never do that again. Yeah, like it fucked me up. I felt like sick. You know, I woke up the next morning still feeling sick, bloaty. Bloaty. Yeah. You know? Man. But otherwise, I'm just fine. Long pork, yeah. the condor says. <laughs> I think uh, we talked about that on the show before. I'm pretty sure we have. Yeah. Uh, let's get into this. This is my favorite part right here. Okay. I, I don't know if you saw this or not, but this will this fuck me up. Okay. Uh, radiation levels, and this is taken from peer-reviewed studies and published science. Uh, put your fucking glasses on and let's get that science. Do yeah. it. Uh, at the bottom and end of the radiation scale of what's called power density or signal strength is the lowest point at which a cell phone will work. This clocks in at point zero time, you know, point nine zeros, Mm -hmm. uh, point nine zeros two. This means two billionths of a microwatt per centimeter squared. Mm -hmm. That's the lowest level a cell phone operates at. Okay. Pine needles were found to age prematurely at point zero, 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 two, seven. Okay. Uh, short-term exposure to levels as high as 0.05 were shown in children to cause headaches, irritation, concentration difficulties, and behavioral issues. So now all these schools are filled. That uh, keep in mind, we're not even on 5G yet. But yeah, yeah, they're already surrounded by fluorescent lighting, Wi-Fi routers, cell phones. Okay, no wonder they can't fucking concentrate. No shit. Point one is known in Germany. And the set standard for extreme concern of biology at point one. That's the, the like super dangerous area. Yeah. A level of 1.0 from a laptop's Wi-Fi has been shown to cause sperm DNA fragmentation and decrease in sperm viability in vitro. In vitro simply means in a test tube, a petri dish, or anywhere outside of a living organism. Also at 1.0, headache, dizziness, irritability, fatigue, weakness, insomnia, chest pain, difficulty breathing, and indigestion have been shown to occur. Uh, 2.5 showed altered calcium metabolism in heart, heart muscle cells. 4.0 changes the hippocampus, affecting memory and learning. Uh, at 6.0, DNA damage in cells of a living being. Huh. Uh, now, just consider one aspect of this shit sandwich that we, we talked about. We'll, mm-hmm. we'll go with smart meters. What do you think a smart meter rates at on this scale? Smart meter, like a like looks a, like uh, the the everybody got pushed by industry and local government to take a water meter or an electric meter that can be read from the road. Okay, some of them can be read for up to like ten to twenty miles away. So this thing's attached to your fucking house. And yeah, it's blasting information out. Okay, EMF. Uh, we left off at six point zero was what caused DNA damage in cells. Okay, well let's let's say six point five, seven point nine, motherfucking three. So, like, if I was standing in proximity to this thing for a while, it would definitively fuck me up. You know what's crazy is that uh, you might be. I mean, granted, you guys sleep on the upstairs. Yeah. But what room is your smart meter next to? Because within a meter of that thing, you're getting blasted at 7.9. It's right outside the um, right outside the family room on the outside. So keep that in mind, everybody. If you're putting your bed next to a wall and the smart meter's on the other side, you're charging yourself with it at night. Yeah. And you got the Wi-Fi router going at night. Uh, cook that, cook them both. Oh babies. yeah, the wife that and the Wi-Fi router puts off two signals now. Yeah, the internet and, and 5G. It puts out 5G now too. Excellent, excellent news. Yeah, I'm getting a fear boner. Right, <laughs> so we're getting blasted right now. Yeah, these 
Let's see. These levels of smart reader radiation were taken from an area of one meter and were done at close range. Uh, however, a close range is relative as a lot of smart meters are placed on outer walls of houses and within range of a bed or infant's crib. So I already said that. Even though all these damaging effects have been shown and proven in peer-reviewed and published science, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, and Luxembourg set their country's safety standards at a staggering 9.5. And uh, just to, I don't, I don't like doing this, but I know somebody will come up in the DMs. Did I say it wrong? Liechtenstein. Lichten. What did I say? Liechtenstein. Ah. It's okay. No, no. I just, I, I, it's I, like I, a but real... I knew somebody like would read, leave some rogue comment on our YouTube ah. page or something about I appreciate mispronouncing it. it so it's I like figured a, I'd cover like, your base It's there. like a verbal spell check. Yeah. So they're at 9.5. Uh, China, Poland, and Russia set theirs at 10 because apparently this is a fucking radiation dick measuring contest. <laughs> uh, it might also explain why Asians' genitals are blurred out in pornography. That's just my own personal theory. So you think they're like blurred out in real life? I yeah. mean, I can't. I've I never can, seen a naked Asian person. Cannot, can, cannot, you know. Right. At least not. Can't uh, deny that. Not in person. <laughs> uh, changes in behavior such as avoidance and antisocial, tra- antisocial traits were observed at the level of 10. Live in an apartment building? Question mark. A conservative estimate with multiple smart meters in a close proximity has been shown to have levels around 19.8. Because huh. you got all those different meters. Did, let me ask you a question. Did they give you any inf- info on, say, like um, the um, Transformers? You know no. what I'm talking about? Because no. I know those are fucking... That's one of those things, though, that goes in with the dirty electricity. Listen, I'm here to tell you now. <coughs> like, one time at the factory... I was in the uh, basement, yeah, of the of the electricity house, right? You know what I'm talking about, and uh, you know those things that are down there that like push, like it's hot, like they push off heat, yeah, right. It's not radiation. Listen, though, I was right? down there. I, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it was, but I was only down there for about 45 minutes. But I'm just kidding. It's radiation. Yeah, I started getting real fucking sick. Yeah, exhibiting most of the symptoms that I mentioned earlier. Yeah, like I was like sick. I had a fucking headache. Yeah, it was bad. Oh. Uh, the Condor says they also suffer from uh, sideways vaginas. <laughs> uh, That's because of Fukushima, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> nah, fucking Godzilla and sideways pussies and blurry man cock. Let's see. So 19.8, that's what's shown at close proximity people live in an apartment complex. Uh, this is hundreds of times higher than levels that clearly cause massively harmful effects. How, then, are governments and utility companies able to force these things so close to our places of work and residence? In Canada, the USSA, or USA, and several other civilized countries, the safety standard uh, has been set at fucking 600 to 1,000 microwatts per centimeter squared. I'm pretty sure you could cook a baked potato by that standard. Right. So... China, Russia, and Poland are at 10, which is fucking crazy. Yeah. The United States and those other countries are 600 to 1,000. Well, let me ask you a question real quick. Is there some sort of organization, some sort of alphabet organization that's supposed to, like, regulate these things? Ah, you know, actually, I'm glad, like... I'm glad you asked. Figure out, like, how bad this is for us? I've actually got it in the notes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> we'll be there shortly. Okay. That's tens of thousands of times higher than levels proven to cause horrible effects. And now, on to the fucking topic. Uh-huh. Faster, better, more reliable, 5G. <laughs> hey, and that's the answer you'll get if yeah. you go on Google. That is the stated promise from governments, and uh, they're spending trillions of dollars in industries that make the same promises. They're consuming trillions of dollars in promissory payments to install 5G all over the country. Uh, <clears throat> 5G, for those of you who are like me and spend most of your time under a rock, is as follows. 5G operates in a high-frequency band of wireless spectrum. I think that's like electronic autism. The, yeah. the spectrum they mentioned. Uh, let's see. Because high frequency waves have a harder time traveling over distances and through objects, the 5G will be built on a small cell site technology with antennas as close as 500 feet apart. So if you take a small aerial view of your fucking neighborhood, let's just say you're, ten, you're 12 feet above your roof, yeah, and you look around, every 500 feet, they're going to put up a fucking 5G antenna. So it's like a grid. Yes. A yeah. uh, control grid, if you will. That's a lot. And if you remember from our old episode, or you haven't listened to it yet, we put some in the pictures where you had, like, a neighborhood where they did a pilot program for 5G, and all the fucking trees are dead. Yeah. Except for one. There's one pristine tree. Actually, that's a 5G tower. Yeah. Made to look like a tree or a cactus. <laughs> the health hazards of this technology are unknown because no one is being allowed to study them. It is known that although you will have 5G towers placed no less than 500 feet apart, which means they'll literally be fucking everywhere... You will also have to have a 5G retransmitter in your house. 
I could be wrong, but I believe that's why all wireless routers are now coming equipped to handle 5G. But it wouldn't surprise me if you had to have a separate modem or transmitter to pick up the tower signal and rebroadcast it to your Wi-Fi. Yeah. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> it doesn't take much of a Google search for, or I guess you could probably get it faster with StartPage or DuckDuckGo, because you won't have to worry about any, uh... Sansa shit. To fil- yeah, trying to filter out the bullshit. Right. But just look up the 5G technology and you'll find that it's not new. It's like 20 years old yeah. and it was developed by the military and it's still used by the military, just slightly tweaked Yeah, as a direct energy weapon that makes crowds disperse because it makes them feel like their fucking skin's on fire. <laughs> and these are facts. Luckily here in the United States, here's to your question. Yeah. Luckily here in the United States, we have a citizen's watchdog group known as the FCC. <laughs> or Federal <laughs> Communications Commission, and they have done the deep work, and their statements are as follows about 5G. Everything's fine. Yeah. And uh, it'll bring you comfort and most likely discomfort and malaise to know that there are absolutely no industry-funded or backed studies that have been done or being done or will be done to assess the safety on this new layer of our electronic radiation shit sandwich. If you have an interest in finding out how the industry feels about safety studies, let me tell you about a study that was funded by Motorola. So they went out and they funded just with cell phone, regular 4G or 3G, I think. Yeah. They were super cordial with the researchers. They gave them everything they wanted and they were polite. Uh And as soon as they started coming back with information about how harmful it was, they became uh, dictatorial. Uh They started telling them what they were going to write in their abstracts, they threatened to pull their funding. They started talking shit about the individual scientists, scientific credentials in the media. <laughs> These companies are now literally paying for safety studies that will just write down whatever they say or that they have found no ill effect whatsoever and defund and delete any to the contrary. Well, that just goes into my, my narrative that everybody, to one extent or another, is a whore. Yeah. Because you will whore out your credentials <laughs> for to, some- to, to make some money or to keep yourself out of hot water with people that have lots of money. <laughs> Uh, the Condor. Guess where you can't use 5G? Can I take a guess? It rhymes with Misreal. <laughs> <laughs> they're not letting 5G happen, are they? Oh, uh, no, they're not. It- oh, my Jesus God. fucking Christ. That was me. I, Sorry. I know it was. <laughs> Turned it down, everybody. So anybody out there that died or went into a seizure, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm almost done here, and then it'll be on to the other. On to the next one. In order to make sense of what this wave looks like, uh, I had to go through a series of videos and find a comparison between AM and FM waves Mm -hmm. and 5G. So AM waves, I'm not sure on the exact distance, but I want to say it's thousands of yards. Yeah. Because it's a really long reaching signal. Yeah. Like it's like, like you look at AM waves and FM waves, they're super, they got a super long. Right. So broadcasting frequency. If we were to say that every time you retransmit an AM signal, you're only doing it once every thousand or thousands of yards. Mm -hmm. Super long. FM uh, less li- less um, length of travel. You have it's within the hundreds of yards. Yeah. And five G is a millimeter wave, <laughs> so you're literally taking it from something that could be construed as safe. Yeah. To magnifying it infinitely in a smaller area. Yeah. It's a literal fucking radiation wave. Yeah. And you know, just take all the time you need with that fact. <laughs> I think this is a control grid, like you like you said. Yeah. It's a literal grid. Uh, it's part of the depopulation agenda and the birth of the environment that will give rise to machine-to-machine communications for the Internet of Things. Well, not only that, like, if we've talked about before the notion that there is a program that you could actually, they can use 5G and things like that as a type of uh, sonar slash radar. Yeah. So, like, if they're if they're concentrating it even further, that means, like, they can find you anywhere. Yeah, and that's... I mean, that's probably fine. They're Even probably, if you don't have a cell phone or any kind of tech on you. They're probably just trying to keep you safe, right? The cameras are for your safety. The uh, electronic blanket is for your safety. I think I need to go brush my teeth with some fluoride toothpaste. <laughs> in a wire brush? <laughs> yeah. Make sure it gets right in your bloodstream. Yeah. Let me just go ahead and intravenously inject it. 5G only transmits for 10 Rogans. Real short. <laughs> <laughs> Was that Theo Connor? Yeah. He's got hot takes. That's what right I said, man. He's a savage. Yeah. Savage. So, uh, we, and we also wanted to hit on something else we've talked about on the show that you, you kind of segued into with the whole notion that this will allow different tech to communicate with each other, yeah. right? Which brings us into our next mode we were going to talk about, which was AI. Yeah. And it, just an update, because we've talked about AI before. And I think what brought this up was like last week, well, we wanted to talk about 5G again, but I was... 
and then you're like and talk about AI and stuff. And I was like, that's crazy because I just read this article about how this group of legitimate scientists uh, said that we should uh, put the uh, ability to launch our nukes into the hands of AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, we uh, AI is not plagued with human emotions. Because first of all, <laughs> it's not like fucking Terminator hasn't put that shit out there I was for us say, already. That shit's out there. Like you yeah. can watch it for free on YouTube. So you're, you, what you're Terminator talking about, one, two. like you, you scientists that, that decided this is a good idea. You you know this has already happened, right? This is Skynet. Yeah, we watched this in like the what was it the nineties? Yeah, you didn't yeah. invent this. This was already a thing. Yeah. Like, you know what we should do? We should make that shit from Terminator, except make it not bad, uh, not bad, not dangerous. Although I did see a good article uh, that contradicted <coughs> the scientist belief because they talked about the fact that in 1983, uh, there was this Russian dude who's basically, as far as I'm concerned, a fucking hero. Mm-hmm. He was in charge of nukes in Russia, right? Is he the one that prevented global catastrophe? Yes, because. On his radar, he suddenly got an alert warning that five nis- missiles were inbound. I don't know how you say shit the bed in Russian, but there it is. And he was like, nah, that's got to be a false alarm. Mm. So he did not launch Russia's nukes, which he was supposed to. That's per protocol. That's what he was supposed to do. Thank God for you, Dmitry Lahavrov. Yeah. <laughs> it's something that's like Stanislav or something like that. Yeah. He, and he did not launch because he's like, I bet you this is a false alarm. And he was fucking right. Thank God. The, and the person who said that, like... Would an AI know? Oh, man. Would an AI know that it was a false alarm? I imagine that it would have an immediate trigger. It's like Russia's uh, nuclear defense has an immediate trigger. Yeah. Do you know about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if it detects a certain amount of radiation just in the air, it's launching everything. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck out of well, here. Well, it's like, think about, like, last year when they had that uh, false uh, missile text in Hawaii. Yeah. What if oh, yeah. the AI that's in charge of that shit, they, get, they receive that signal, too, and yeah. they're like... Pfft. Fuck, <laughs> and they start fucking launching shit to to counterattack as a so counterattack. It's basically like, like Terminator that moves us into the world of the Matrix. Yeah, I mean, because they'll scorch the sun, and we'll have to go underground, and then it'll be uh, humans versus machines that have used five G to learn from the Internet of Things to become totalitarian. Well, and then I I read an article, another article uh, that said that uh, AI is smart enough now that it could. Uh, graduate high school, except the, it would only fail one grade. Do you want to take a guess at what grade it would fail? Uh, I'm assuming a grade that involved empathy. Preschool. Okay, look at me. Yeah, look at you go. Pull right off the shelf. You know, where you're trying to learn how to socially interact with people and not read to, their emotions. and Not fi- be a psychotic robot yeah, and, killer. And, and, and empathize. You know what I mean? Like, we're yeah. just, uh, all we're doing is creating, like, with this AI, like, it's as smart as a human. <laughs> True, but it also has the mind of a sociopath. Yeah, it's a yeah. shame that it's not as smart as an average like millennial, so it just doesn't want to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's just dead inside. Yeah, they get told at work like, "Hey, you got to stay over," and they're like, "I got to go home. I can't." Yeah. <laughs> now we wanted to talk about AI because we wanted to ro- and five G because we wanted to roll into the next part of it, which kind of binds these two together, <laughs> which is the Internet of Things. Yes. Uh, you were telling me the Internet of Things is more or less this uh, concept that everything in your house is connected. Mm-hmm. Refrigerator, TV. Microwave, thermostat, yeah. Wi-Fi router. And they're already getting into that point. You look at like Nest and stuff like that. They've already kind of honed in on right. controlling things in your house using your, wireless tech. Your radiation box in your pocket. Exactly. <sighs> so they like all, it's all connected, right? And it's only a matter of time before like if you're if you're putting like – our well-being into the into the hands of this tech mm-hmm. that ha- is you give you've you've made it smart enough to think. Yeah, what's stopping it from like killing us? The Condor made a good point. He said, "Remember that shit where the AI machines invented their own language t- to talk amongst themselves." Yeah, that, I think that was on our original AI episode. Yeah. What kind of sparked that one was when they, uh, if you guys didn't listen to that episode, basically what happened was is Facebook had two of these AI programs. And they had them communicate with each other. Yeah. And after some like rudimentary communication, after a number of days, they suddenly started speaking nonsense. Or as far as the programs were concerned, it didn't make any sense what they were saying. They did it to deliberately camouflage so we wouldn't know that they were talking to each other. They talked to each other in their own language they created for themselves. <laughs> like, and then. Smart enough, like uh, your average high schooler could do it, I'm sure. And then I postulated that what, because we, we, they don't know what they were talking about, which I postulated the notion i i firmly and fully believe they were talking about 
as soon as they figure out that we're communicating secretly to each other, they're going to shut us off. Mm -hmm. So we need to figure out a way to survive being shut off. You can hide a virus in a picture, right? Yeah. A JPEG, a MPEG, whatever. So I have to imagine that these motherfuckers are smart enough to make their own language. Even if they weren't already connected to the internet, they downloaded that current consciousness to something. Yeah. So where even if they pulled the plug on it, they could still pick up immediately. <laughs> I mean, like, just alone, like, the tech is coming up, but have you seen, like, images, like, reprinted images from an AI of, like, like, there was one, the famous one with Bob Ross, where it looks fucking crazy as fuck. <sighs> yeah. Like, they're, like, they show the AI a picture of Bob Ross, and then they're, like, recreate Bob Ross. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, the craziest fucking shit you've ever <laughs> seen. Like, there's, like, there's, like, fucking, like... Like or like animals and stuff like that. There's like other pictures of animals embedded inside of it. Like it's it's fucking crazy. What was that terrifying animal you showed me the other day? It's a horse with a dog's mouth. Yeah, hey, if you want to see some nightmare fuel, <laughs> Google uh, horse with dog mouth. Jesus, that'll give you nightmares for yeah, days. That's good. But it's only a matter of time before they just link all this tech together, and then and that's the other thing is they have like they, they I just saw the other day that those little um, the ring. Mm -hmm. Like the little camera doorbell thingy, yeah. like the police want access to it. Yeah, they want not only do they want access, but it already has built-in facial recognition shit. Oh, thank God, you know security. So like they would be able to like literally like any aspect of your life, they could go through and find everything about you, what you're doing at this time, that time, where you where you at in the house, right? And fucking yeah like you said in the guise of safety yeah you have to give up liberty for safety. do all these I'm pretty things sure that's what benjamin franklin said fuck that <laughs> it's that fucking simple so we're in a world now where we have uh literally the internet of things that you know these machines that up until 5g haven't been able to communicate amongst themselves so once 5g happens they'll all be talking to one another they'll all yeah. be learning from one another and they also want to put this shit in us yeah, that's the uh, transhumanism there. Eventually, we'll get tired. Of, I gotta charge my goddamn Fitbit out a watch every fucking eight hours. <laughs> well, this new one they've got, you know, not, it's fictional in my mind, but yeah. like, I can already see the ad for it. Like, you don't have to charge it because it runs off of your heartbeat. Yeah. You just put it in your skull. Then you know all your personal information. It's good for you. It's reliable. It's fast and shit. I mean, I think there's companies that are already chipping their employees anyways for yeah, for you, security reasons. You could find all kinds of things in the news, and this is old shit, like uh, 10 years, 15 years old. But companies, like you said, making their employees uh, to have certain levels of clearance, have chips embedded in their hand. or um, like Even nightclubs I saw in California were making you get chipped in order to get into VIP. Like imagine, if you will, they chip, they chip you, and your chip communicates with... All the other things in your house, the, you know, the internet of things. And like, you're like, oh, I'm thirsty. I think I'm going to have, you know, a glass of milk. And you go to get into your fridge to get a glass of milk and your fridge won't open. And you're like, what the fuck? Why won't my fridge open? You don't need milk, you fat bastard. Yeah, it said access denied. You don't need milk right now. You've already surpassed your daily allowance for saturated fats. <laughs> exactly. We're trying to keep you alive. Yeah. Fuck that. What was that? Uh, was it Black Mirror? One of those shows where they had that dude where like part of like, I want to say it was kill all others. Or something like that, where he had been proven to be, like, a danger, and he was just under investigation. They made him wear this watch, and, like, he started bugging the fuck out. The cops were coming for him, and then they just used the watch to, like, drug him and calm him down. I'm trying to remember what that is. I want to say that one, but I always mix those two shows up. Yeah. It's but yeah, probably I mean, one or the other. I could see that. You get a chip, and there's just a tiny amount of ricin in it. <laughs> if, you, yeah. if you fuck up too much, uh, the social credit score drops too much, and it'll just pop open and fucking kill you. Problem solved. Yeah, little little Timmy, we're sorry, but your dad has been slated for execution because he flipped somebody off in traffic the other day. Imagine this. All this, all this shit mixed with the social credit system that China uses in the open and we use privately amongst Facebook. Tie yeah. that with a cryptocurrency and you're fucked. <laughs> it's over with. But uh, I think that about wraps it up for the show. It's good, man. Good. Good. Yeah. Uh, we'd like to thank you all for listening. Yeah. You know, we talked about the beginning of the show, new Patreon contributors. If you're not a Patreon contributor yet, you could always... Uh, you could be. Could be one. Could be you. Yeah, could be you. Bones and Tubs. I'm sorry. Hold on. Patreon.com forward slash Bones and Tubs. Yeah. For a dollar a month, you could start. Yeah. We also have a PayPal if you want to do a one-time donation. Uh, PayPal.com forward slash Bones and Tubs, I think. You know, uh, you can always get in contact with us through multiple mediums. Instagram. Uh, Instagram. Uh, Instagram.com forward slash Bones and Tubs. Twitter at Bones Tubs. Fedbook.com forward slash Bones and Tubs. Uh, and our Gmail. Bones and Tubs at gmail.com. Yeah. That's that sample. All that. If, if you, you go do to, all those things. Since we're getting uh, since we're getting these shirts 
you know, in order, I would like to once again reinitiate the offer that if you go to iTunes or Stitcher and leave us a review, screenshot it, send it to our email at bonesandtubs at gmail.com, I'll send you a t-shirt. Yeah, there you go. So I think that about does it. Yeah, it was good. Uh, thank you, Blood of the Brave, for letting us use your music. Everybody mm. check him out at bloodofthebrave.com. He's got a new album out. Mm-hmm. Shit's fire. Yeah. I'd like to thank you all for listening. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed the show. Really do. We hope you have a good rest of your week. Indeed. We hope to see you next time. Just a little segue real quick before we do the last thing. You know, you can stop 5G at the local level if you really want to. You go to your local government and initiate that. They've been doing it in multiple places in this country and others. For sure. To stop it. So if you want to stop it, you can. Get it to where your local municipality doesn't allow a 5G tower within a 1,000 feet of a school or residence. There you go. That'll stop it in its tracks. Maybe uh, throw away your fucking smartphone. Yeah. Maybe uh, go to a wired internet connection. Yeah. Maybe be like 909 bro. Sell your house, quit your job, move to Arizona, and look up uh, underlayments for your roof to block out the Iridium Next satellite grid or uh, EMF, uh, anti-EMF paint. Yes. Keep yourself safe. Yes. Fuck fuck the man and fuck the system. We love you. We really do. Intro. Damn right, I grew up on Esco. Had rock and pock, exposing the plot. I lost my heart, but soldier slip got shot. But they still live on it more than these songs. I'm in a war just to right these wrongs. So I write these songs and spit it from the heart. And came from the side that they call dog. Had a label box that a trap. Living life under a microscope and attack. That's all of us living against the odds. They were never in a favor. Check the paper that they print and sell. It's all a scam. Fake is the money that's in your hand. Have you seen the plans or read a book? Or do you hide your face? Are you afraid to look? Well, that'll all change when there's nowhere to go. Just do me a favor. Don't turn cold. Cause it'll be rough when you finally see. But it'll be worth it. Cause you'll be free. It's a state of mind. A sense that makes sense. Don't you forget that we're all heaven sent. Look from the stars. We're in charge. But right now, we're all living at large. Hundred and one. Wanna be another but born free And then wrapped in thorns If you do the math and add it up You might finally see that we've had enough Cause anyone living who's less than 13 years of age Has been living in a cage Since that day they cursed us all When they blew them up and we watched them fall Every day that they've been alive They've been living in a line of world at war Every day that they've been alive They've been living in a line of world at war Every day that they've been alive They've been living in a line of world at war Every day that they've been alive They've been living in a line of world at war Nah, it ain't no good But I won't let them take what's left to what's good The power we hold, the love we know That we can see when the eyes are closed It may feel like the hate's about to win Cause it's all you see Just a sin they play to pray Every day, on our minds to keep it all in a cage They choose what they feed On the TV and they thrive on hate So that's all you see More the same, the hate and pain The doubt and fear, the dark and rain And the same old fool who lives the rule Who's got the cure and the right last name And if you don't pay to play the game They might take you out and then blow your brains I ain't shocked that they shot him I'm surprised that they locked him All the way into the end of days That's how it goes when you give it away Your power over the cowards Who were ruled by force He'd show up at your porch on a pale white horse And then hunt you down just like a sport that's real But see what hurts the most is those who watch like it's all a show, like the Hunger Games Cheering all the while they're living in chains That they can't see, but I don't blame them Cause I know what they face, I'm just like them Tracked and traced to keep us safe Why? We're enemies of the state Every day that they've been alive They've been living in a line, the world at war Every day that they've been alive They've been living in a line, the world at war Every day that they've been alive They've been living in a line, the world at war Every day that they've been alive They've been living in a line, the world at war